Alrighty guys, Irish Gamer back with another Minecraft video for y'all today. Before this, before I start this video, I'd like to uh, thank you for the mod developers who have been helping me basically get <clears throat> this pack, the custom cube, going to where it is now. I have been messing with it for a few days now, and I have to thank all the all the mod de developers who've been helping me and debugging this game. So welcome to not the complete custom cube, but very, very close to it because I am still looking around. I just added like three, <coughs> excuse me, not three, uh, like maybe four new mods to this pack that are like look at my mod folder i have 213 mods that's good now um i know what you're saying you're like hey i thought you weren't trying to imitate the cut the true um cubitron i know what i said and i remember what i said but i want this to be a better image and a better running one because like I said, I'm not trying to copyright, like, straight on copyright, uh, Cubitron. Uh, but I talked to the developer mm -hmm. of that. Goodness. Um, <laughs> bird. Um, of that pack alone. He gave me editing rights so I can edit it and, uh, see if I can't get a version out for myself and my friends. And, um. Uh, we edited it a little bit, but then it could not handle all the edits. So we basically, I talked to him basically saying that this would be the better version if he would allow me to use the same author for the folder when it is uploaded. Now, there are some mods in this that are not in the, uh, in, in the real Cubitron. I need to not do that. I need to come in here. Um, what the hell? Are you fighting? I think they're running each other. Oh, they are. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> but, um, I really want to put in, like, hardcore... What are y'all doing? Headbutting each other? Weirdos. I wanted to put like hardcore, I wanted to put all the heavy hard mods in here. Like hardcore darkness, like, um. Ooh, Apple. Um. Uh, Hunger Overhaul, Spice of Life. I wanted to put a lot of very hard mods in this one pack, but then I thought, y'all guys can't do that. And I know this. Um. Now, RL Craft is projects. Like, I have been working on RL Craft for quite a while now, and, um, excuse me. I edit the pack. I have, um, I edit it to my liking, but here's the thing. I don't really like how I'm editing it, so I'm still working on a few bugs. Um, it lags quite a bit. Um, now, I did get open blocks. Oh, open blocks is one word. Um, now I think, yes, we do have this. Like, that is from open blocks, not from uh, extra utilities. I, if y'all remember, um, I was talking in the previous video of this series, uh, saying, hey, uh, I don't have a sleeping bag yet. Not knowing that the sleeping bag did not come from open blocks. It has been. Way too long since I've played modded Minecraft, and I will say right now, it is very difficult for me to go from one thing to the next. I will say that right now, because there are people like Wells Knight, um, um, Scar. I'm listing all the people I watch, because I know they play, or have played. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, Wells Knight is done playing um, Minecraft for a while. Now, I do have Thermodynamics. <laughs> In that, where's the goat? Um, what are you? 
Zinc. Now, this is a brand spanking new world, mainly because all of my major updates. Um. What was I gonna say? There is a substantial, um, requirement for this pack. Um. If I were to copy the mod folder, which I need to recopy, um. Um, because, um, like I said, I think it was last episode, <clears throat> or I don't remember how long ago I said it, I mentioned that this Minecraft account will be deleted due to it's on my school account, which I was dumb and I wasn't paying attention, but I was just bored in my dorm room. Um, <coughs> anyway, excuse me. Well, I got six carpets now. I need more. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say, wait, 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 wait. Now I have been looking for a lot of mods. I do have gravestone, so I don't care. Um, there's a specific mod I've been wanting for quite a while. It's like whenever you get a potion effect, your vision I don't know what the mod is. I know uh, Build Your Infinity and um, I think it's just Build Your Infinity has the mod. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is just gone today. Now, this is basically just me telling y'all what I have planned, but what I don't know is I'm more than likely going to have to reload a different world every time knowing the updates that I am applying to this pack like um, mm -hmm. I'll give the mod creators the future mod creators a uh, little lesson in mod fault and mod creating or whatever it's called pack creations if you make a pack you have to have numerous testing worlds uh, to make sure everything works what is that I see a pink for Manganese. Um, you have to have numerous testing worlds, and I will say right now, uh, you don't want to get too far in progression. Well, you do. You want to make sure everything works. Um, I'm still having problems with my BSL uh, shaders, of course, because of it's an all edition. It works with every update, which isn't the best thing you isn't the one thing you want you want one that works for that certain edition but I can't find one for 1710 but I will try to find one sooner or later I want BSL because I really do like the lighting I heard that I did add a new biome um, okay this is just saying I thought this was gonna be like quicksand I was gonna die already but no, I do need to find another sh Where are all the damn sheep? And spawn is just right over here too. What the hell? Where's my Pepsi? Ah. So, like I said, I have been bugging around with this. I could go through every modded mode. Uh, thank you for um, letting me know you're here. Panda bear? Arrgh! Here? <laughs> so we did get uh, um, a substantial amount of mods. Yes, I opted for a Vieta. Uh, this mod is an end game progression. Now, um, I was doing research, and for in-game progression mods, you want the most powerful mod. It takes about 40 days in in real life to get the, um, like 40 days straight in real life, in real time, to get the, um, well, shit. Um. Sorry, the Sword of Cosmos takes 40 in days straight. That's like 1 million Minecraft days, guys. That's crazy. Now, if I die because of a stupid 
No. Sheep doesn't spawn. Wait, I think I didn't get hunger overhaul. Hold on, let me see H U N G -O. Hunger overhaul. Hunger in peace. What's this? Oh, hunger in peaceful mode. That's the mod I needed. Um, because, uh, hunger. Because I also added a bunch of mobs that will one shot you. Like in Blood and Bones. And, uh, I'm sorry for all the people who hate one shotting. Uh, mobs will just come up and just shoot you and you're dead right then and there. I'm sorry for the people who have to deal with that. But I don't. I really need help with. Um, if there are any mod pack developers out there who are watching this video, I would really appreciate some help on trying to upload this pack to Twitch under a beta edition. Because I would really like. I would really enjoy for people to uh, play this game. Hold up. I know there's something with moons. Let me look up moon. M mood. Moon. Howling moon, glacier moon, item moonful, and then makes uh, additional orders, blah blah blah. Renewal, no. Is there. Blood arsenal, blood. <sighs> blood moon. Nope. Never mind. <clears throat> Because there's a hardcore pack, or a hardcore mod that's in RL Craft that I would really enjoy to have in this pack. But I don't think we will be getting to that. Okay, those are Bobcats. Just, just run. Just run. They will murder you. I know this, um, because I have died a few times from them. Um, if I had the footage, I would show it to you, but I don't. Um, how hard is it to find sheep around here? Oh my goodness. Meh. I didn't find sugarcane. Now, this is testing world number two, because the first one I am pretty heavy in progression-wise with that one. Um, but this is... Oh yeah, did I mention I added in uh, chance cubes? Uh, this mod is very, very odd. You know what? <laughs> hey, those cookies are my... Oh, I die? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go into my testing world and show y'all all the new mods because I don't feel like dying, so... New gen! Then here's that one, and here's the testing world. Now this is a flat, uh, Ender IO bucket XP, E bucket block oil, yeah, whatever. There are bugs like that. Now, I have been commented that this should be a like blood and bones world or a blood and bones pack. And I said Blood and Bones is too weak. Yes, I said Blood and Bones is too weak. Blood and Bones is not a very hard pack. You look at things like RL Craft, that's hard. Now, if you look at packs like Blood and Bones, that's easy for me. Like, I would do that every day. Not in hardcore, because uh, I'm not a hardcore player. Um, hold up. So, we got... Whatever, I don't know how to say it. Aviator, something. What's this? I have never seen this in my life. Holy shit! God! Blood Orb of Amok. Amok. I don't know. But I will go and give me the Sword of um, Cosmos, mainly because I know their enemies that are this overpowered. Now, there are different variations of mobs and stuff. We do have Botania, which there is something in Botania that I really do enjoy having. Um, game mode S. 
Actually, no, I don't like that one. I like the red one, Cloak of Sin. I kind of like it mainly because I'm Endobrine. And there's something else, um, Mon Alien Antenna. That, um, ah, I am so sorry. That was probably like horrendously loud for you guys. <laughs> I did not realize that was there. Okay, so. We do have BC Factory, which I think that mod is Buildcraft. Yeah, I, I fucking BC stands for Buildcraft. I'm tired, guys. I haven't done much. So, Buildcraft is a very, very cool mod. I've enjoyed playing through a, a bunch of these mods and, um,. I will say right now, Buildcraft has been one of the funner ones, mainly due to the fact that I never truly got through it, unfortunately. I could not get through it, which I don't know how I didn't, but it's whatever. So we do have things like um, Ender IO, Ender Tank, Ender. I thought I had Ender Storage. I thought. Well, I guess I thought wrong. I have a bunch of these extra utilities and different weird things in this pack. Project Exploration is a... Uh, integration... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I keep hitting my freaking mic. EXP. Wait, I don't have Project Exploration? E X P L R O T. Do we. Is Project Exploration not. What? Hold up. That's effing ridiculous. What? We have lighting, but we don't have. Okay, we have world base. Compact integration but we do we don't have project exploration Hold up. let me look up exploration we don't have very much for ex well never mind never mind on my thought Ugh. So, we don't have anything to do with pro Project Exploration, which ha would have given us, I should say given, yeah, given the people who play this pack and me, a bunch of really cool tools. I don't remember the adamantine looking like this. Huh. It looks weird. I'll live with it. Um... Platinum. So there are other mods like, uh, not Mo Creatures, y'all knew that. Open Blocks was a very hard decision to get. Mainly, I have to argue the fact that there are things in this pack that I had to disagree on. I will say that right now. But. Due to the lack of usage, I'm going to use gem armor. Because you can fly with it. You can just spin around the world with it. But this mod, um, there are some pretty overpowered things about this mod that I did not want to use, but I went ahead and got it anyway because there are things like that. Hang glider, sleeping bag, oh, the XP drain, the um, auto enchanter, the bear trap, the, there was something else. I don't remember what that something else was. Oh, the building guide, which is something I'm willing to use in the near future. Now we get on to the kind of cool things. Silent Gems updated to 1710 version 4. There are five versions 
version 4 is the most updated version. They have not gotten to version 5 yet, but I'm willing to get that done. But this is Silent Gems, which I think is really cool. Super cheaty Chaos Gem, which has no effects on it. <laughs> now you do have these runes like Flight, which I believe all you have to do is Croft, and like so. Disabled, cheaty, it's disabled, but it's whatever. Oh, did I also mention we got things like... Um, TIC uh, Tinker's Tooltips, which I personally believe is one of the better mods that I should have gotten in the first place. There are things like, uh, I think a bunch of really stupid things too. Let's see if we can't find them. All right down to 200, uh, that's Tinker's. Lycanite's mobs. Uh, we got Decocraft too. Did I mention that? There are... I think a hundred. Oh, we got Witchery. So, I... And we got Blood Magic, but I can't seem to find that. <laughs> hmm. Give me a second. Um, where the hell is the fucking command block? Am I just that blind? Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, it's right there. It's in the bottom right corner. Uh, that's right. You have to summon. I hate that feature, I'm just going to rant about it for just a little bit, so don't you worry. Well, you have landmines. Um, I don't know if you can hear that alarm in the background, that's my dad's. Set time zero. I fecking hate this update right now. I really do. Wait, what? Time set zero. Oh, or is it time set? Yeah, it's time set. Fudge, I can't type. Time set zero. Now, you cannot invert daylight centers, which I really hate. D-A-Y. Daylight centers, carpenters. Which is a unfortunate part of this update. Sorry, I had to fix my glasses and crap. But you cannot, unfortunately, do anything with daylight centers. Now, there, like I said, <clears throat> I did want to add in more difficult pat, uh, mods to this edition, but, and then I thought, oh, here's Blood Magic. There are people out there like, um, Sunday, um, I'm just going to list out some of I know who plays hard packs. Sunday played Blood and Bones in what year? He played Blood and Bones. 2014. Now, I was, um, in 2014, I was not playing, I don't think I was playing with mods at the time, but I do remember watching him, and then I thought, um, hey, what if I made my own really difficult pack, and then a few years later, I found out RL Craft is a very, is a, I think it's the third most difficult pack in Minecraft. Or it might be the second. I'm not so sure. But there's that and there's a bunch of others really difficult packs that I would love to see him play. 
Sorry. But I don't. Uh, I doubt he'd play RL Craft because I don't think he's. I don't even know if he still plays Minecraft. Uh, and then there are people like Forge Labs who I know play the game or the pack. And I was having and still playing. He had a live stream, I think, yesterday. Or the other day. I don't remember. Time flies now. But I just remember seeing that he had like day 30 going on. So they're like, bro, it takes you 30 days to do like one thing. It's like, it's just crazy in my opinion to see people struggle on packs. But I really want to make this the ultimate survival. But I don't want to add in too many mods like hardcore darkness that don't work with shaders but um i think i already have hardcore darkness let me check let me go to the mod pack let me go under h a b c d e f g h hunger and peace no i don't have hardcore darkness hair to care dark ash hardcore map reset this mob Hardcore weather, hardcore ender expansion. Um, <clears throat> give me a second. Hardcore survival mod. What is this? Making. I don't know what that does. Hardcore resurrection as a configure. Um. Hardcore Underground, I am not so sure if this works. There are multiple different mob fi mod files for it. But anyway guys, that was just a review on the things that I have done to the pack. And um, I really hope y'all will end up... Um, if I get this thing uploaded, I will let y'all know. Um, I will eventually leave a link in the description all that good stuff and I really hope y'all enjoy watching these videos for the people who do end up watching my videos and if y'all have watched this far please like comment subscribe and I will see you stupid villager you guys in the next video see you guys later